It was a time of massive gains for a community in Makoko Yaba in Lagos as they have learned new ways on how to plant seeds they would normally dispose of in bags in plastic bottles. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo has more. Residents of Makoko community listen with keen interest as this group, Tomorrow's Vision for the Nation Foundation, lectures them. Their thoughts to stop throwing away yam heads, tomato and pepper seedlings, vegetables, and then plant them in bags and in the spaces available to them. Conveyna Yinka Okuiga speaks on the need for this as the effect of inflation bites harder. You can see the, from the videos, you see a lot of people, um, they, especially the elderly ones, seated in the rain. They were in the rain, they were ready to learn, and they, we, could, we realized that the way we are being accosted, we realized that there is a lot of poverty and hunger in the land. People are hungry, and we are just trying to encourage them that, and telling them that they can do better. And how do they do better? They can plant this food, um, the food stuff for themselves in bags, and it, it surely grows. That is why we're, we but um, we brought some um, samples for them to see so that they can see that for real all these things that they can plant it in their own homes. The group says its mission is to encourage backyard farming from the bulk of what residents would ordinarily throw away. We started to teach them on how to plant all the waste, all the um, seedlings and all, to plant all the seedlings and those things that they use, they have around them from waste to wealth in order to be productive, in order to be, in, so, so that they can um, plant what they can eat. We are, we are encouraging them to, to go on backyard farming. While doing that, we also, majorly, we are trying to kick against poverty and hunger in the nation. That is why we are encouraging backyard farming for these people. It's not just for the elderly, it's for the community as a whole, but we decided to start with the elderly so that they in they in turn can teach because they have they, they have time to sit. They in turn can teach the young ones. The young ones and the the youth, the youth and the children were also available were also present at the um, at the occasion. It goes a step further by being charitable by feeding over two hundred widows for aged children and youth in the community to cushion the effect of chronic hunger and poverty bedeviling the land. Residents of the community came out despite the rains. It is believed that when hunger is reduced in the land, poverty automatically reduces. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.